Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. As you saw from the title, today's video is a clean and decorate for Halloween. My kids were super excited last year when I decorated for Halloween and this year I have a few more little ideas I'm going to be popping around the house that I'll be sharing with you and I have the cutest little boo box for the kids because we are staying at home this year and not trick-or-treating they are getting spoiled so we can have a really awesome Halloween movie evening so if you want to see what I made for the kids then just keep watching So to make the kids boo boxes, I used a popcorn container that the kids actually got at Christmas time and I do make a boo box in a disposable popcorn container so you could easily do this. I wrapped it around with some gauze that I picked up from the chemist and then I popped some googly eyes on it. The best trick is to pop the googly eyes onto the plastic and not actually onto the material because it falls off and then I just filled it with the kids favorite lollies and a little can of Fanta so they could have a spider that evening and they absolutely loved them and I'll definitely be doing this next year they won't be eating all of this um, the lollies candy all in one hit but it really did make their day when they came home and saw what I had created for them. It was a simple and easy craft. And I think you could do this easily for Christmas time too, for Christmas Eve. You could do a Santa or an elf with the popcorn box. Or Rudolph could be a good one as well with the red nose. Um, and maybe wrap it around with brown material or something like that. But um, I'll definitely be looking into something fun for um, Christmas Eve this year for the kids to watch movies. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michelle, as you saw from my name on my video channel, but I'm a mum to three gorgeous children. I live in sunny Queensland, Australia with my husband, Chris, and our three beautiful children. I am currently renting, renovating our kitchen, so these cabinets still need the last coat on them, and this sink is going to be replaced, guys, with my beautiful farmhouse sink that is still sitting in the box in the dining room. It has been a long process, but we have a lot of renos on the go, and I just would love this to be finished, but in reality at the moment, it's not. My husband works away a lot as well, but I cannot to wait to one day be filming a video in here in a farmhouse sink. It will just make my heart happy. And the other day, my dad was going through storage and he came across this gorgeous glass jar. It's like a French jar that my mum had. And I was just cleaning it up and I'm going to be using it as a vase to put flowers in but there weren't any flowers that I wanted to choose for this video so there won't be any fresh flowers in it today but so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would love for you to consider doing so and make sure you click that bell notification so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos from me I'm going to have lots of Christmas organizing Christmas videos and lots of cleaning motivation coming your way November December but if you'd like to follow more of our Renault journey, then definitely head on over to my Instagram where I share day-to-day -day life and lots of our Renaults. So you're kind of more updated on what we're up to in the house. But I would love for you to join my YouTube family.
once Halloween is finished on Saturday evening, I am going to take all the decorations down on Sunday. I'm going to give the house a really good get clean so it's nice and fresh before I start decorating for Christmas. I have been feeling of late that my house is just feeling really gross and dirty. I haven't given it a really good deep clean in a while so I will definitely be filming that for you. I could have cleaned all the windows today in this video but it was more of a quick get things done before the kids come home and decorate. I didn't pop out all of the spider decorations that I popped up last year but they're there if the kids want to decorate more around the house but I'm not sure if you're the same as me but I kind of get a bit overwhelmed with decorations. I love looking at decorations in people's homes. I love decoration ideas, but I find it quite overwhelming um, if there's too much. As I say this with lots of things on my shelf and how cute is that little teapot cozy my mum got made for me from a lady on Etsy and I will link her Etsy below. I do not have it on me right now, but I kind of just like simplistic and as much as I love Christmas and as much, much as I love decorating for the seasons of Halloween and Easter and all those type of things, I do find it kind of overwhelming. So I would love to know if you find decorations overwhelming or you just embrace it.
So we got a new fridge because our Samsung kept breaking down, it got repaired and it will be going into our kitchenette, into our rumpus area downstairs. But this is our new fridge, it's the Electrolux um, fridge twin door fridge it's great it's fantastic it's even got a drawer for like you can change it from deli to wines um to chilled drinks whatever you like the only problem i find with it it doesn't have handles and there's constant finger marks on it it's kind of driving me crazy but it is a great fridge and i have had hocus pocus on this morning while i'm cleaning to keep me into the halloween spirit World. So I do have a quick little tutorial up on my YouTube on how I made the bats on my wall and I'll link that above and in that little wooden bowl they aren't mini pumpkins they're little sea urchins um, but they look like mini pumpkins so I was quite impressed with that because we don't have well I didn't find any little white munchkin pumpkins here in Australia and I'm just unpacking things and getting it out I didn't even realize I had that jack-o-lantern jack um, and it lights up inside I think I got it at Aldi last year and I still had some paper cups and plates and stuff left over and I've got two bowls for extra lollies and for popcorn as well and I do pinch a few lollies as I am doing this I actually edited it out me unwrapping the lollies and eating it because it grossed me out I didn't want to gross you guys out and then the witches hats I'm going to show with you what I am going to do with them but I picked the witches hat up from the reject shop for two dollars but my sister lives in Brisbane and she got hers for a dollar so if you are looking for a simple easy Halloween task my sister is going to be hanging hers outside um, I'm not hanging mine outside I'm hanging mine inside and I kind of think I might change where I hung mine I end up hanging them in the corner over there but I think I might end up hanging them in the doorway near my oven the glass door so when my neighbors look down they can see floating hats but it was simple I just got a thick needle and I popped fishing line through and then knotted it um, I, and then I just popped them up on the ceiling with a little bit of blue tack um, to hold the hooks I wish I had clear hooks I forgot to get them and I thought I had some at home so you can see the metal but I think it turned out quite cute some of them I actually hung on the window as well so you can see it from downstairs um, but I thought this was a really cute hack uh, Halloween hack that you could do and it didn't cost a lot the tech sign so my ace boom boom no flex no i won't gas you up like petro just trying to take your way up with a jet go but you didn't notice that keep clocking all my hours i told you that work now play later but you keep going off on me keep texting like it's all on me yeah you're all in my head like you're my 
forever, not for right now. My day one, you hold me down. Hard cold like the winter time. Fight for your love, can't slow me down. Don't go far. I take me and you over living large. Know I'll be there whenever you are. Cause you sound bright like, you sound bright like a shoeless star. I'm keeping this spot vacant I've just got a plant there at the moment but this is where our Christmas tree will be going this year I cannot wait to pop the tree up I think I'll be going for the traditional colors again because I do have beautiful decorations in the traditional and there goes the witch's hat as I walk down um, and there's a little bit of magic for you for Halloween and it, back up it goes again um, but I really love the way this turned out. I think I'll end up taking the ones down from the window or lowering them. Um, but I think the three in the corner does look really cute. Oh, you got hurt, someone did you wrong. I can see it in your eyes, it's like your fire is gone. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to talk, I'm right here, not gonna leave your side. Just feel free to open up when the moment's right. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to go out, we can go out. You can hide away just for one night. But if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side. So I am just reusing the spider webs that I had last year. Reject Shop, um, Big W here in Australia stocked it. They're about $2 and they come with about six spiders. I find this such a finicky task. It looks great when you um, do it and I'm going to get the kids to pop some more around the house. My fingers are super dry at the moment and they kept getting caught on there. But I wanted to pop this up to show you guys um, the spider webs and I just resealed them in a plastic bag last year so they could be reused. But the more that you pull on them, um, the thinner they get. But it's really like actual spider web. So excuse me, my husband is texting me as I'm doing this voiceover. But um, yes, so I am going to get the kids to pop more around the house because they, yeah, they kept getting caught on my fingers like real spider webs. So it is actually springtime here in Australia and because I live in Queensland, Australia, it's more feeling like summer. So our temperatures are about 33, 34 degrees and I think that's about 91 Fahrenheit. I'm not too sure, but it's like summer weather here. Um, so the fireplace is not going on. I won't be decorating anything, just giving it a vacuum and a mop here. Um, but yeah, so that is why it is not looking as autumnal, um, fall-like with cozy candles and stuff like that. Because
So the rest of that actually had to be bleeped out because, oh my goodness, I don't know how that happened. That just happened out of nowhere. Everything came tumbling down. I was so upset. I broke one of my favorite little coffee cups. Um, I've popped it aside to fix, but I doubt I'm going to get it fixed um, because the actual handle is completely broken. watching guys I hope this video gave you all the motivation that you needed today and if you haven't already clicked that subscribe button I would love for you to do so and if you are still after some more cleaning motivation then definitely click on the playlist below and I'll see you in my next video bye guys